Hey, Marcus Conti reporting. Remember a year ago I told you that the uh, tax cuts would have absolutely no effect whatsoever on the real economy, that no jobs would be created, that that uh, it was all a farce, that it was all a money grab by the billionaires. You remember when I said that? I remember that I said that shit a year ago. Google. Hey, Google, what's today's date? It is Tuesday, the 29th of January, 2019. And still nothing, no jobs, right? Am I making it up? Am I saying it? No, there's a new report. So I'm going to read this. Uh, I'll read a little report, and then we'll hear Trump in his own words. Uh, say, oh, no, you know what? Let's, look at, let's listen to Trump in his own words first. A couple of minutes. This is a short video. Ten minutes. Well, really Ten, two minutes. Because the wealthy are going to create tremendous jobs. They're going to expand Calling their for companies. major jobs. They're going to do a tremendous job. Tremendous. I'm getting rid of the carried interest provision. And if you really look, it's not Let's a play tax. It again. It's really not a great thing for the wealthy. It's a great thing for. Say it again, Donald. Well, I'm really calling for major jobs because the wealthy are going to create tremendous jobs. They're going to expand their companies. They're going to do a tremendous job. I'm tremendous. getting rid of the carried interest provision. And if you really look, it's not a tax. It's really not a great thing for the wealthy. It's a great thing for the middle class. It's a great thing for companies to expand. And when these people are going to put billions and billions of dollars billions. into companies, and when they're going to bring two and a half trillion dollars back from overseas where they can't bring the money back because politicians like Secretary Clinton won't allow them to bring the money back because the taxes are so onerous and the bureaucratic red tape so what is so bad so what they're doing is they're leaving our country and they're believe it or not leaving because taxes are too high and because some of them have lots of money outside of our country and instead of bringing it back and putting the money to work because they can't work out a deal to and everybody agrees it should be brought back. Instead of that, they're leaving our country to get their money because they can't bring their money back into our country because of bureaucratic red tape, because they can't get together. Because we, we have a president that can't sit them around a table and get them to approve something. And here's the thing. Republicans and Democrats agree that this should be done. We've looked at your tax proposals. I don't see changes in the... I won't give you Hillary Clinton. But there's the uh, good president. Let me break it down for you. So there's the good president, right? Donald Trump. We love Donald Trump. The Donald, right? So there's the Donald talking about tax breaks. He said that that the billionaires are that that you give the corporations the tax breaks and the money trickles down into the real economy, right? That's what he. That's the whole pitch, right? One point five trillion dollars in tax cuts, right? Let's see what happened when he did it, right? That was the idea, right? It was. Uh, let's let's not forget. Let's hold our, our elected officials accountable for their actions, right? Now, Donald Trump ran on the notion that trickle-down economics works. This is how we will create jobs for our people. Millions of jobs, millions. Remember when Ted Cruz said that? Get rid of the tax codes and we'll create millions of jobs, right? It's a, it's a fucking lie. It's a total lie. It doesn't work that way. You have to tax the corporations. But let's read. Let's read the evidence. Now we have evidence that it doesn't work. Actual evidence. Recent, new, fresh evidence. Let's look at it. So, um, so the Trump administration's $1.5 trillion tax package appeared to have no major impact on businesses, capital investment, or hiring plans. You don't say. According to a survey released the year after the biggest overhaul of the U.S. tax code in more than 30 years. It's ridiculous. I mean, it was so obvious when it happened. I mean, I'm getting tired of being right all the time. The National Association of Business Economics, NABE, NAB, quarterly business conditions poll published on Monday found that while some companies reported accelerating accelerated investments because of lower corporate taxes, 84% of respondents said they had no changed plans. They had not changed plans. 84% had not changed plans. That compares to 81% in the previous survey published in October. The White House had predicted that the massive fiscal stimulus package, marked by the reduction in the corporate tax rate from 21 to 21% from 35%, 14% reduction, and eliminating the government tax on businesses that operate overseas. <laughs> eliminating. They eliminated the tax f f overseas. So anybody who does, it's an incentive to go overseas, right? right? They, they said, I'll start again. I'm sorry, I, I interrupted myself. 
The White House had predicted that the massive fiscal stimulus package marked by the reduction in the corporate tax rate to 21% from 35 and eliminating the government tax on businesses that operate overseas would boost the businesses spending and and job growth that was the pitch right reduce corporate tax rates and the corporations will take the money and create jobs right no wrong it didn't happen it doesn't happen it never happens it doesn't work that way because it's not in the business model of corporations to give you anything they take the money they stash it overseas they they do bullshit investments all overseas now because why because they eliminated the tax rate overseas the people are not paying attention. The bootleggers, oh, no, no, fucking Trump. Uh, Trump. Uh, high heel Trump. High heel Trump. Trump's our man. Okay, there you go. A large majority of respondents, 84% in, indicated that one year after its passage, the corporate tax reform has not caused their firms to change hiring or investment plans, said NAB, N-A-B-E, President Kevin Swift. That's the finding, right? I mean, did they overlook millions and millions of jobs and, and, and all this, you know, fiscal paper trail? And, and are they lying? No, they're fucking, there's no effect. It has no effect. They took your t trillion and a half dollars. You want single-payer health care? You want a wall? You want uh, high-speed rail? You want a Green New Deal? Well, they just stole a tr trillion and a half dollars of your money. They gave it to the rich. The NAB uh, survey also suggested a further slowdown in business spending. The, surveys, the survey measure of capital spending fell in January to its lowest, lowest level since July 2017. Expectations for capital spending for the next three months also weakened. So it's going down. You gave them the tax breaks and, the, and it, it's, it's weakening the economy. It has a reverse effect. So here's three, three points that uh, we can look at. So conclusion, street conclusion. Trump's $1.5 trillion tax package had no impact on business capital investment or hiring. Number two, 84% of businesses said they had not changed hiring plans whatsoever. Number three, the survey also suggested a further slowdown in business spending. Unbelievable, right? Officially implemented in January 2018, the $1.5 trillion tax reform package reduced the corporate tax rate to 21% from 35% and eliminated the overseas tax. The package only prompted a wave of stock buybacks. This is what it actually does. I'll read that again. The package only pr prompted a wave of stock buybacks and one-time employee bonuses. They basically took the one point five trillion dollars and and buy their own stock which is attached to their compensation what's up what's up what's up old cat <laughs> old cat crying so, right so they take the one point they take the 1.5 trillion dollars they give themselves bonuses they buy back their own stock that elevates their stock in their interest right it doesn't affect you uh, it doesn't even, it doesn't, it rarely even, even when they do the buyback, it doesn't necessarily mean the stock goes up. It could go up for a while, but now the markets are down, right? Now the market is still in a bear market. I'm, I'm on, I'm spot on with that one, right? So it, it'll be, you know, it's going to probably lose about 10,000, well, not maybe 10,000, about 8,000 points leading into 2020, right? It's in a bear market right now, right? So none of those buybacks, none of, none of that corporate tax shit had any effect according to the survey released yesterday on hiring so now what are you going to do about it what, do you, what what's your solution what are you going to do say oh we need another trump election we need another oh it's because of the swamp and the and the and the, the corporate democrats and the corporate republicans and and the and the swamp creatures and no it's 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 the law that if you don't enforce the the tax codes right 80%. Jack it up, squeeze them out, right? And if you do that, then you don't have the other things. You don't have the quagmires. You don't have the counterinsurgency wars, over f flipping over countries for their oil, right? That's corporations run wild. That's what's going on right now. So congratulations. I hope you've you spent your, your 10 cents 
extra that you got in your, you know, your in your tax check. I know people like to say, oh, I got extra, I got extra fucking two hundred dollars this month, man. Fucking this year, I got an extra three hundred dollars in the check. Right. But what does that do for the bigger? What does that do for the greater picture? It does nothing. It does nothing. It creates no jobs. It creates it's it's stagnation across the board. You got a little bit. They throw you crumbs and they steal trillions of dollars. Marcus Conti reporting.